Hey, what's up, reviewers? It's me, your boy Tavo, and uh, we're back with another episode of Hunter Hunter. Literally just turned off the last episode. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm really enjoying the series so far. Uh, like I said at the end of the last video, right? Like it's just, it's just a lot of fun so far. I'm having, I'm really enjoying the characters and just kind of how wacky they are a little bit, right? In terms of like design and just kind of the way they're being portrayed right now, like the uh, Tomba, the <laughs> the rookie crusher, right? Like dude's just, dude's literally just an asshole who's probably salty about the fact that he can't pass the hunter exam because he's been there like 35 times <laughs> and this year he's just getting owned by all the rookies right because he's just sitting there like freaking out because he can't just crush them like he normally does right and the way he crushes them is just giving them laxative just gives him some magnesium citrate in form of orange juice <laughs> oh man but uh yeah i'm really enjoying the series so far last episode we got introduced to kilowan hisoka who I know are bigger parts, like, bigger players in the series, right? Because uh, <clears throat> I, I haven't seen the series before, obviously, right? But I do know some of the characters, like I said in the first video, right? Like, I'm not going into this completely blind. I know some of the characters and, like, kind of just the magic in this world, right? The men and all of that. But I have never seen the series all the way through. But, yeah, let's just, uh, let's just hop right into it. If you've made it this far in the video and you like what you see... Go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. Also, the link to the channel Instagram is down below in the description. Let's go. Ah. Ah. Ah, I was distracted. Luckily, I've already seen this part. <laughs> Hope and ambition. <laughs> I was distracted. Luckily, that was just a little bit of a recap. <laughs> My bad. Sorry. Sorry, my son. Focus on your breathing. Focus on your breathing and keeping one foot in front of the other. Dude must have some super long strides. Because he's just walking. Everyone else is. Forty kilometers. You have about twenty-four point eight miles. God dang. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> Oh yeah, Kalua. <laughs> bromance. <laughs> the start of a great bromance. Making a fool out of me. Where's that comp? <laughs> yes. <laughs> me. <laughs> me after running a mile now. Man, I've really gone downhill. <laughs> Put on too much weight. Trying to get back to how I used to be, fam. I didn't always used to be this thick around the edges, right? <laughs> got, got into his head. <laughs> Just verbal abuse. <laughs> This dude has got some <laughs> amazing strides. <laughs> God dang. <laughs> These 60 kilometers. Sheesh. It's 
It's about 31 miles. <laughs> God damn. Put me on that. It's just that I know a 10K is... I don't know, so that'd be 37.2. Glorio, no! It's too early! It's too early! Come on, Lorio. <laughs> Just staring at him silently. <laughs> Pathetic. <laughs> Come on, Lorio. What about your briefcase, bro? Got a second. <laughs> cool. <laughs> We're the best of bros. <laughs> oh, and then you got to do stairs. Fuck that, bro. Just kill me now. <laughs> Dude's got some amazing legs. <laughs> Cardio on a hundred, my god. <laughs> Strip down. <laughs> sure. It's got that runner's high at this point. Is this really, is this really the time? <laughs> Let me focus on my breathing. <laughs> you and your logic. Window for the soul, right? Is what they're kind of known as. Like, <laughs> we're gonna take your eyes to sell them on the black market. Fuck. <laughs> That's dark. Jesus. I respect your resolve. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> Man, he lived in the desert. It's like Mexicali.
Sorry, it just sounded like he said Canada and... <laughs> what? <laughs> I love the reaction. <laughs> You're lying. At this point, if you gotta throw up, just throw up and keep it pushing. Okay, bet. I'd have the same reaction as, as Skillo right there, just... Mmm. Okay. <laughs> it's a bit dark. <laughs> the, I would say he <laughs> the look of disbelief just <laughs> no we still have quite a way to go <laughs> we made it no you didn't <laughs> Natural habitat, <laughs> the woods. Oh. That's one thing I can't wait about being back in California for. Just going back to the redwoods. Oh, I miss it. Swindler Swamp. Like on the other one, right? It was just like, you could die. And this one is, you will die. <laughs> you mess up, you will die. <laughs> Yeet. Yeah. <laughs> Hence the name. <laughs> That's right, we're still running. Again, <laughs> Kilowa just looks so unamused. Man faced apes. Hmm. 
<laughs> Bastard. Imagine getting killed by cards. That was Hisoka, definitely. It's quite the interesting way to check. Whoever doesn't die is real. He's all just like, I've been through that. Man. <laughs> Damn, nature. You scary. Intense. In the Swindler Swamp, <laughs> Numir Wetlands Fog. <laughs> Long strides. Big facts. Bet. Bet. <laughs> oh, man. Man. We already have a death. <laughs> Granted, right, it's not like... A main character death or anything like that. It's nothing too big, but didn't expect someone <laughs> didn't expect to see someone get bodied so fast. <laughs> Hisoka just killed him with some cards, my god. <laughs> That's some impressive card throwing right there. <laughs> I like how his threat was just like, yeah, I'll report you, and he's just like, Yeah, yeah, cool. Like been there, done that, bro. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, this show's this show's a whole lot of fun. I am definitely really enjoying it so far. It's been uh, it's been pretty entertaining. Like I said, I really like the characters. I really like uh, the animation for it. I really like the character design. Like it's it's been pretty fun so far. I've definitely definitely been enjoying myself watching the series like a whole hell of a lot. <clears throat> I'm glad that we were able to get some backstory finally on like Kurapika and uh, or you know some more backstory right on Kurapika on uh, and on uh, Leorio right. They both have their reasons to be there, obviously, right? Everyone kind of has to have their reasons to be able to put themselves through something as harsh as that, right? Obviously, greed is a pretty big motivator, but it's not... I don't think greed is normally a big enough motivator to, you know, get you through that, right? There's always got to be something else in the background that's motivating you through that, right? So, it's interesting that Lorio, right, wanted to become a doctor, but then he realized, like, you need money to do this, right? Like... <laughs> Just being, just getting, you know, medical supplies is what's going to save the people, right? So you're going to need money to do that. Money makes the world go around, unfortunately, right? But, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I've, I've, this, the show's really good so far. I'm really enjoying it. I'm excited to see how they're going to be able to get through the, uh, Swindler Swamp, right? Because they can't lose sight of old boy who's running and, you know, they, this, this definitely poses a much greater threat to everyone, right? Because you have... A bunch of like predators and everything around the swamp looking to deceive you and kill you right so it's a situation where yeah like <laughs> on the run there through the tunnel right he said before we start you know some of you're gonna fall out some of you're gonna die potentially right you could either end up seriously injured or dead on this part of the track right and then on this one it's just you know you're gonna die like if you if you lose sight of me you're gonna die like 
It's all black and white here. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, this, it's, it's really interesting. I'm really enjoying the series so far. But, uh, yeah, love y'all. Stay safe. Stay blessed. Double out.